Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and a spring outfits inspiration video. Uh, spring is well and truly underway. It's nice and sunny and bright today, so I'm feeling quite inspired. We've also just come back from a trip to Mallorca. We actually went out there to um, shoot something that's coming up, a launch, a new launch that's coming very soon. Um, so we went out to shoot and then we tagged a few days on at the end and stayed in Parma, which is just one of my favorite cities ever. Um, and my parents came out to join us, um, but we'd had such a lovely trip and I feel like there was so much inspiration and the style that people have there is just so chic and I just got lots of inspo so I'm excited to bring that on board and share some spring outfits with you. Also just a shout out to the lovely woman who came up to me in Massimo Duty and said hello. I think her name was Tara. Um, I really hope she's watching this because she was so nice and lovely um, and it was just really nice to meet her. Um, she was with her children in Massimo Duty. So if you're watching, hello, and thank you so much for coming up. Um, so let's get on to the video um, and the first outfit. So for my first outfit, I did want to show a bit of a variety and adaptable outfits that you can change according to the weather. So I've got some more cooler day looks, some warmer day looks, um, and things that you can chop and change depending on your lifestyle. So the first look is this oversized knit from Rosé Paris, and then these wide leg white trousers on the bottom. What I love about this is the real casual elements to it, like the oversized, the wide leg trousers. It just feels very soft, but at the same time, because of this color palette, these lighter tonal shades together, it really elevates it and also makes it feel a little bit more spring-like too. I've added my black bag for a bit of contrast, but I think equally a lighter shade of bag would work really nicely with this. And then what you could do if you wanted is add something like an oversized trench over the top if you wanted an extra layer, or you could go for a t-shirt layered underneath. So you've got the option of taking the jumper off and throwing it over your shoulders. Obviously this spring weather can be quite unpredictable, so it's nice to have those layering options for when it gets a little bit warmer. This is a skirt I have been absolutely loving and one I also wore in Parma. If you go to my Instagram, at Lydia Jane Tomlinson, there are pictures of me on there wearing this skirt in a different way for weather that was maybe slightly warmer. Here I wanted to do something where I had a jacket option layered with it. And also just a tip on how to show you wearing these long skirts and how you can add jackets. So I've got this one on from weekday, this long creamy color. It's so comfortable, um, it's very kind of soft, and it's just really, really easy to wear. Here I decided to style it with this cropped bomber style jacket from Zara, which I really love. Um, I think it's a really great one to throw on at this time of year. Love these big boxy shoulders. And then styled with the longer skirt, you've got that contrast of a little bit more edgy with something a little bit more feminine maybe. And I like the cropped with this longer skirt too. And then I've just balanced out the color with some black ballet flats on the bottom. Again, this is kind of an interesting interchangeable look. You could do different footwear with this if you wanted to. You could even wear some black boots with this. Maybe some heeled boots in the evening would look quite good with this. So there are different ways you can adapt it. But this is one way I would style this long cream skirt. And then just another option, maybe just a bit more dressed down with the jacket and the simple black t-shirt are these wide leg trousers. These are from Reese. I'm not sure if they're available. As always, everything will be linked below where possible and then alternatives if they are older pieces. Um, but these Reese trousers just give it a bit of a spring lift. We've got that lighter shade. You could go for white trousers to make it a bit more formal. But I think this kind of greeny color just dresses it down a little bit, a bit more casual. Um, and then just something that's not jeans as well. Um, and then just popped it with some trainers. Again, just keeping it really casual and just another way to style this boxy jacket. So this next look I think is one of my favorites in the video. It's these blue trousers from Officine Generale. I got these on uh, net a -Porte last summer in the sale, but um, Arquette are doing two really, really similar styles. One is actually a pajama style bottom, which I think are most similar to the one I've got. And then another is an actual pair of striped trousers with a drawstring waist. Um, but both are really, really wearable. Um, and don't be afraid if, if something's labeled as a pajama, it doesn't mean you have to wear it as a pajama. You, know, you don't have to follow those strict labeling rules and it's all about the way you then go and style that. And I love the contrast of these blue relaxed 
trousers. These are actually trousers, by the way. They're not pajama bottoms, but um, they do have that vibe to them. But I love that contrasted with this more sharp tailored coat and then this cashmere knit. This for me feels like such a me outfit. It's very classic and simple, but the trousers just add a little bit of a twist to it. It still feels casual and relaxed, but it's got that tailored element at the same time. And then I finish off with some lighter accessories again, just to keep it feeling light and spring-like um, and just to kind of lift the knitwear a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to make knitwear feel more spring-like, so I would say opt for some lighter accessories if you're a bit unsure how to style your knits at this time of year. This next look is a really nice transitional one um, if you're still wanting to wear your denim, your gray denim, um, and just that neutral color palette, this is the one for you. So I've got these straight leg jeans on from Duracoco. Um, these are really, really comfortable by the way, and a great shape and length. Um, I'll link them below and I also have a discount code for them too. And then I've kind of gone down the smart casual route and paired the jeans with these ballet flats and then this jacket from Marcella London and kept it simple underneath with a t-shirt. So my next outfit is some slouchy denim. I obviously live in these. This is actually an old pair from Stradivarius and then I've just kind of lifted it up a little bit with this light color blazer and simple t-shirt combination. And then you can kind of make this more smart or casual depending on what you're going for. So I've paired it with these loafers from Todd's which give a bit more of a smart element to them especially with them being white um, and tying in with the blazer. You could actually just go for some trainers instead and that will make it a lot more casual and relaxed. And then I finish off with my Bottega bag. So I couldn't not do a trench coat outfit in a spring outfits video. This one is from Sana New York and I've popped it with this shirt from Cezanne. I absolutely adore this shirt. I think it's just such a good version of a white stripe, blue and white striped shirt. And I, I think pairing the shirt and the trench together just creates a really nice look. And then you can kind of go two directions with that depending on your trousers. You could smarten that up with some formal trousers for workwear or you can go down the route I've gone and kept the jeans on, add some trainers and it creates a more dressed down look. I've also finished off with this beautiful Cezanne white bag. If you're not sure on how to kind of spruce up your spring wardrobe, I think a white bag is a really good option just because it kind of lifts all those darker pieces. I'm gonna be showing you how to do that in a minute, but it just really does lift them and give that spring feel. So it is a lot of the time your accessories and how you incorporate those lighter accessories or more spring-like accessories with your basic wardrobe. So I wanted to do another skirt option. This time I've gone for this satin kind of midi maxi skirt from Naked Fashion. Paired it with my loafers. These loafers are just the comfiest thing in the world, I mentioned on my Instagram the other day, um, I wore these loafers for the first time walking around Palmer all day, which was very risky of me, but I knew they felt really soft. So I thought I'd give them a try and brave them. I hadn't break, broken them in or anything and they were so comfortable. I could have kept walking in them. They were just so, so comfy. So I would highly recommend them. Um, I went up a size. I'm usually a 39 and a half. Sometimes I'm a 40 depending on the brand. So I went for the 40 in this and they fit really nicely. Um, I'll link them below, but they're so good. Anyway, I paired these with the black just because I always think tan is a really good shade to add to black um, in the spring or in the summer. It just instantly makes it feel a lot more seasonally appropriate and transforms it from being something that might be a black wintry piece into something that can be a black summery piece. So definitely think about pairing tan to kind of brighten up your black and to get more use out of your black pieces too. And then I just added this denim jacket from By Melina and then a simple beige tank top underneath and finish off with my low FA bag. And again, um, a lot of my spring out, all my outfits really, are very much about contrasting that kind of smarter feel with something more casual just to give it that kind of undone element. So if it is slightly warmer where you are, I've just gone for this simple white shirt look next um, and added some sandals. This is a really easy um, look to go to during those transitional times, going into summer from spring, or like I say, if it's warmer where you are. So I've got these trousers on from Uniqlo. I love these. This is the first time I've worn these. Really, really nice fit, and they're very soft and comfortable, and I think they work nicely 
um, against these chunky sandals. These are my Hermes ones that I actually got on Vestia last year. Um, and I'm really looking forward to breaking them out again and wearing them with these simple pieces to just kind of elevate and lift them, um, especially with them being that tan as well. And then I've added this simple white shirt from Theory. Um, this just white shirt utility trousers or cargo trousers look is a really easy one to go to. And I just think this kind of structured boxier bag with the more casual look, again, creates that contrast that I was talking about earlier. So if you're not ready to part from your darker pieces yet and want to get more wear out of them, and also um, if you love kind of leather trousers, that look, then here's how to wear them in the spring. Again, put them with some tan. So I've gone for the loafers again to show you how that tan can lift these darker colors. Think about your accessories too, like the Cezanne bag I've added in here, just brings that lightness to the outfit. And like I said before, just makes those darker pieces feel like spring blacks rather than winter blacks, if that makes sense. And then I've added the striped Breton top underneath again from Dora Coco last year actually, um, but just a Breton stripe is another simple piece that will make your outfits feel more spring-like. Um, so if you're thinking about what pieces to add, I think that is a really nice one to transition your outfits into spring. And then finally, if you wanted to, if you didn't want to go for the leather trouser look, you could go for something like the trousers I've got on now, some simple, loose, wide leg white trousers um, and keep the darker blazer on if you wanted to. It's just a way to, again, lift the blazer. So think about adding those lighter spring-like shades um, with your slightly more wintry color palette. And that is a really nice way to transition your looks into the new season while still getting plenty of wear out of your autumn winter wardrobe at the same time. So I hope this video has been really useful to you just for some inspiration. I'm not saying go out and buy all of these looks. Actually, what I'm saying is go into your wardrobe and see if you can recreate any of these looks. Just some tips and ideas and takeaways and um, kind of things to think about, food for thought in your spring wardrobe and how you can create new looks. So um, I hope it has been useful. If it has, please do give me a thumbs up um, and make sure you're subscribing. I know a lot of the time um, I'm guilty of this on other people and I always make sure I, I'm checked if I'm subscribed, but because I watch their videos, they just pop up, but I'm not subscribed. So if you do just have a quick look now to make sure you are subscribed, um, I would really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video.